Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Today I want to talk with you about, you know, I don't want to be guilty of any hyperbole, but a study out of MIT or a series of studies that suggests that there may be hope for a grand theory of cognitive disease. Um, a just published series of mouse studies by MIT researchers in uh, the Nature, Nature's a real prestigious uh, collection of journals. This one is called Neuron. Anyway, a, a just published series of mouse studies by MIT researchers suggests that a missing or a defective, a mutated uh, gene called PTCHD1 affects two parts of the thalamus, that's a part of the brain, that has long been associated with memory and in turn cognitive impairments that are quite common, like as I said, like autism, schizophrenia, maybe others. The researchers, and I'd like to mention their names, Jiraj Roy, Ying Zhang, and Guoping Feng, who's a very senior uh, researcher at uh, Harvard and MIT's uh, Broad uh, Institute for the Study of the Brain. Anyway, they used uh, the famous gene editing technique, CRISPR-Cas9, to knock down that gene that I just mentioned with the, the not exactly sexy name, uh, you know, PT, whatever that was, PTCHD1. Um, Anyway, they knocked down that gene in mice and found that it caused behaviors akin to people who have autism and schizophrenia. The researchers even hypothesized that gene's connection with ADHD and impulse disorders. Importantly, uh, the researchers were able, using what they call chemogenomic treatment, uh, to restore normal memory function. Now, I have to say, I know that the use of chemogenomic genomic uh, therapies uh, is currently prohibited for use in humans. For years now, both the brain's thalamus that I mentioned and that PTCHD1 gene have been considered central to memory and a cognitive impairment, but this series of studies takes it a step further. The studies identified a specific linkage between that gene and two previously underconsidered parts of the thalamus. When the researchers knocked down expression of PTCHD1, they found a major deficit in memory encoding for both fearful memories and working memory. This research, this line of research, also bolstered the field's dominant contention that memory defects can occur when synapses' baseline excitation level is too high. When new input enters the synapse, there is not enough sealing left in the synapse's maximum excitation level to store that input. In addition to the aforementioned PTCHD1 gene, there are two other genes, the YWHAG and HERC1 genes, HERC1 genes, also seem to be causal of this kind of um, a too high baseline level of uh, synaptic um, activity each of them in a different way. All this gives the MIT researchers hope for therapeutics that would decrease the baseline excita excitation in those synapses. The researchers find additional hope in that the chemogenomic approach is only one of a number of other possibilities for targeting that thalamic circuitry to, as a therapeutic. Even more broadly, that line of research provides yet more hope Rather than classifying people's cognitive impairments by their symptoms, which is what we currently do, doctors will be able, hopefully, to more accurately diagnose these people based on the person's neural circuitry, which should make more effective treatments possible. In many fields, from cosmology to cancer, the Holy Grail is a grand explanatory theory. This series of studies seems to clear away at least a bit of the fog that is clouding our understanding of that intricate process between our brain first receiving an input and it being able to make full and focused use of it. And that, in turn, offers what every sufferer of such a disease and loved one who is affected by the disease, mental or corporeal disease, what they desperately crave, hope. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.